Hello children, well today we're going to learn about Jacob and his ladder. Hmm, Jacob's ladder. What do you think he did with this ladder? Was it an actual ladder? Was he dreaming about a ladder? We're about to find out. We're going to be in Genesis 28, chapter 28, verses 10 through 22. And I think you'll enjoy the song today, too. So, Jacob, who was whose child? Isaac and Rebekah, right. Isaac was Abraham and Sarah's child. Rebekah became his wife. And then she had two children, Jacob and Esau. And they were twins. So, Jacob was on, he's older now not a little child he's an older adult man he was on this long journey so as night came you know he got tired and he stopped to rest so he spread his blanket across the ground so he didn't have bed because he was kind of like camping out like some of you like to do I'm not a camper and he used a large stone for a pillow now I don't know about you all camping out and using a stone for a pillow but that seems kind of tough on the head unless you have a hard head somebody might do it might have to sometimes you don't have a choice and he didn't at that time he didn't have a pillow while he was sleeping he had a dream we all have dreams sometimes when we're sleeping some good dreams some bad dreams I've had ones that scares me just like I'm sure you have and I've had some that make me happy but he saw a stairway leading up to heaven this is what we're talking about when we say Jacob's ladder it's a stairway that actually leads up to heaven in his dream. At the bottom of the stairway, rested on the ground, as it's rested on the ground, at the bottom of it, as it rested on the ground, the angels of God were climbing up and down the stairway. At the top of the stairway was God. And he said something to Jacob. He told Jacob, I will watch over you. I will be with you wherever you go. And Jacob promised he would always trust God. See, God's with us everywhere we go. We can't see him personally like we can a mom and dad or a sister and brother or his people. But he's right there. He's with us. And you never have to fear with God being by you. He's there to protect you. And all you have to do is ask him, God, please put your arms around me and protect me. I'm scared and he will do that because that's our God and he loves us that much so you little children don't have to be afraid because God's always there to protect you so God watches over us always remember that and as you get to know God more and more you'll trust him more and more because you'll see sometimes you can't trust your best friend they won't always be true to you but you can always trust God because he will always be true to you your life may not be the perfect thing on earth, but God will be right there to go with you through that little storm that you're going through. So Jacob trusted God. Now I want us to say this together. I will trust God to watch over me. I will trust God to watch over me. Okay, now you know about Jacob's ladder. The song is really kind of a cute song and I like it. And we're going to do some cute little verses. I'd stand up and do it. Or maybe I will stand up and do it. Let's stand up and do it. Because then you can see the cross and stuff. <laughs> Makes it easier. So, as we're doing this, I'm going to try to get this right. Ah, here we go. We're climbing Jacob's ladder, so we're going to climb. So you're going to take your little hand, you're going to climb the ladder. You can move your feet to and you're going to climb the ladder. Okay, and we do this three times we sing it. Then it's the soldiers of the cross, so you're going to salute the soldiers, and you're going to go cross. So let's do it. Jacob climbs the ladder. Climbing the ladder. He salutes soldiers of the cross. Okay? Then, next verse is every round goes higher. So we're going to start down here. Every round goes higher. Every round goes higher. Every round goes higher. It's like he's going up the staircase. 
soldiers, oops, not me, soldiers of the cross. Okay, behold, I am with you, and it's God being with you. It's like, behold, let's do this way. Behold, I, which means God, am with you, and will watch over you. We'll take both of our hands and let go watch it, okay? Behold, I am with you, and I will watch over you. Soldiers of the cross. And my battery's getting ready to die on my iPad, so we have to hurry and get this song done, okay? Be right back. quick here oh okay this one is doing this by herself so it makes it kind of hard but we're getting there aren't we kids yeah we're having fun that's all it that matters we have fun and learn about the lord and there's nothing wrong with that so that's our story for today and then i'll be on away for a little couple days and i'll see you back on monday you have a wonderful weekend and enjoy yourself enjoy your weekend Remember, please, to continue to pray and pray over the good things that God has given you. If he gives you something, even if it's your mommy and daddy who gives it to you, God gave them the money to get it for you. So thank him. Thank him for that. Thank God for everything because he's made everything. We wonder how he does it, but he does it. He puts it in people's minds and they make it. So y'all just take care of yourself. And Miss Linda's off of here today. Miss Linda loves you. Remember to keep praying for all the things Miss Linda's mentioned before. The president and our world and all the lost people that don't know who God is. We need them to learn who God and his son Jesus is. Love you all and you all take care. Bye-bye.